camera here and I want to put together a simple sun catcher using these uh, little shapes. I got the idea from my friend Shemi who has a great instructional video on how to make these very simply and the link to her um, video is going to be up here in my uh, iCard. So please check it out. Now I did this little video when I was at home and then I went camping. So right now I'm in the mountains and I'm trying to do the voiceover. So if you hear the wind and the birdies, that's because I'm in the pines. So I'm using some simple craft wire and I'm making a split ring on one end, very sturdy one. And I'm basically threading beads here. There are a variety of colored glass beads, some bigger ones, some tiny spacer beads. Now the little shapes are made. Um, I had completed them when I got the idea about uh, adding a bead to the middle. And of course for that I needed a hole. So I went ahead and I used my scissors and made this hole and it went fairly simple uh, as the inside of these shapes is made from foil and some uh, clay which is pretty easy to get through. So here I added the first shape and actually the first one gave me a lot of trouble. My wire kept getting stuck uh, inside of it uh, in the foil but you see here on the next shape you can see it way better and also it worked way better. So again some beads and now when I want to put this in, I use my pliers to pull out the end of the wire. I add a small bead which fits the hole to it. Then pull the wire back in carefully so the bead doesn't fall off and then push it through. And yep, this one went really easy. And again, more beads here until I get to the next shape. Now this is going to be a very simple project easy to uh, copy or repeat and I'm hoping that the sun will sparkle nicely in these uh, pretty beads. So here comes my second bead. Now here I did have to use my pliers to bend it back in so it would go through the rest of the hole. So it's a little tricky this part but yeah can be done. So I'm nearly done just a few more beads. I am out here in a campground sitting in my tent and it's really beautiful and uh, that's one reason too while well, my communication was a bit slow this week I'm hoping to upload this either today downtown because I'm completely off grid here no internet no phone or latest by Friday when I get back home so I'm adding another split ring to the other end just like I did in the beginning and this is the first view of it and you can see those little beads. Now on one end I'm adding a piece of sari yarn. I'm making a knot then a second one maybe a half inch up and then a bow. Now the little space between the first and second knot is a great way uh, to hang it on so it will go right here in my window. Now on the other end I want to add a little tassel and I had this uh, ready-made one. It's a broken earring. So you see me here taking off the hook. It's made out of beads too and some little loops. And because of the split ring, it is quite simple to attach it to the end if you can just find the beginning. There we go. We have deers out here and elk. We had bears last night and not too close, but in the campground. I got my little dog here who loves camping too. So here is a view of my little sun catcher and I will of course post some pictures and I wished my camera would be a little better and would give it justice because these beasts are way more sparkly than their uh, show here. I hope you enjoyed this simple project. Bye bye for now.